yo what's good guys thank you for clicking on today's video i'm going to be showcasing you this very smooth stack up freeze frame effect that you can use in a lot of your music videos now before we head into today's video i just want to quickly put you guys onto my brand new preset pack the ultimate shake pack now if you guys are struggling with impact and energy on your videos this preset pack is definitely for you we have 15 drag and drop presets available within after effects with different style shakes so feel free to go to the link in my description and download these today let's head straight into this tutorial the first thing you want to do is basically split your layer in between of the part where you want to add your freeze frame effect so i want my freeze frame effect to come in right here okay so what we're gonna do we're just gonna make sure that we're on time and we're gonna click Control shift d on the keyboard and that is gonna split our layer the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move one frame forward and then i'm gonna split this layer as well and when i split this layer right here i'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see and we're gonna right click on this layer we just split in the middle there and we're gonna go to time and we're gonna click freeze frame then now as you can see when i click play you can see that there's a freeze frame right here but what we're going to do is we're just going to move this freeze frame a little bit more forward so that when you see the clip playing here it comes in a little bit more earlier so that now we have our clip looking like this okay that's perfect and then you just want to simply duplicate your freeze frame layer so then now we have two layers of this freeze frame now all depending on what you want to mask out first you would click on your first layer or your second layer now for me i'm going to start off with the bottom layer here and i'm just going to mask out his body so that we can cut off the head here so once you have masked out the body if we click this eye symbol here just to take off our top freeze frame we can see that this is what we have so far okay so we've literally just masked out the body so just so we know and we don't get confused i'm just gonna right click our layer the bottom one that we've just spoken about and rename and we're gonna type in body so that we know that this is the body layer and then for the next freeze frame i'm just gonna simply mask out his head here now that we have masked out the head it should look something like this so as you can see our mask here for the head is there and now this does look a little bit rough and again guys this is just a template for you guys to go over so if you just want to clean this up a little bit we're just going to go to our mask here and we're just going to add a small touch of feather there so it's just smoothing it out a little bit and then now we can just simply rename this one to head so then we know which one is head and body simple as that guys now the next step you want to do is basically just start with the keyframes for your freeze frame effect so we're just going to take off the toggle for the head so that we can't see the head as of now and we're going to focus directly on the body okay so first thing we are going to do is we're going to go to transform here and we're going to go to position we're going to make sure that it's in line with the start of our keyframe here and the freeze frame and we're just gonna go to around I'd say halfway here for this freeze frame effect and we're gonna make sure that our position is keyframed our scale and our rotation so that we have three things to change around at the start of this clip here so for me the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this to around let's just say over here in this bottom right hand corner I say yeah around here and then we're just gonna move the rotation ever so slightly to like maybe like I don't know 35 or something like that and make sure that it's not in the frame as yet and then we're just gonna bring the scale down just a little bit I don't know to around 85 or something and then literally as we said around halfway around here we're just gonna highlight all the keyframes here and we are gonna right click and press reset so that now we've got a movement of the body coming in like this now of course I don't like the way that that is looking because number one it looks too slow and it looks very stiff so the way to fix this is we're just gonna drag these keyframes a little bit more closer I'd say maybe around two steps there so I say something like this but I feel like if we just drag that one back just a little bit there we go so then now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the keyframes and we're going to click f9 on the keyboard and that's basically going to easy e your keyframes so then now we're getting a smoother look okay much more smoother look but to make this look even more better we're going to highlight keyframes again and we're going to click on this graph here 
which is our speed graph editor and we're just going to simply zoom in so we can see exactly what we're doing and for the position we're going to make sure that we bring in our graph to around let's just say 75 for the influence and do it on the same side there so then you have a graph looking like this all right so it's going to look a lot more smoother so when it pops in that's the sort of look we're getting which is way better than what we had before okay so now once you have officially done the freeze frame effect for your body and you are happy with the way that looks you can go here to your controls and make sure that motion blur is turned on okay so we're just gonna click this one right here which is your motion blur and make sure that that is highlighted for the body so then now when it comes in it looks even more better okay and we can adjust these keyframes after on in terms of the speed and the way we want it to come in but let's just make sure that we have our body keyframe set and freeze frame ready for the next one and we're going to make sure that it's toggled and the body is turned off so that we can see what we're doing so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to make sure my body keyframes are available for me to see and i'm going to click on the head and we are going to move this keyframe just towards the end of our first one so that when the body comes in the head can start coming in as well okay so now with the head movement we are going to do the same thing we're going to go down to transform and we are going to change our position scale and rotation so make sure that that all is keyframed and we're just going to bring i'd say the rotation maybe just like one whole rotation cycle so i'd say around one so for the positioning i'd have it around here coming from the bottom and then as it comes up i'd say around here we're going to mark our next keyframes and we're going to highlight and we are just going to oh one second i haven't added our scale so we're just going to make that a little bit smaller and we're just going to move that up like so and then like i said when we get here we're going to highlight our keyframes again and we are going to click reset now what that does is it brings it back up to its original position but as of now we just don't want that as yet so we want to bring up the head around here just as it's going to head back into frame we can add our keyframes back to reset so then now when it comes up it goes up and then pops back down we're just going to bring the head up a little bit more we're just going to highlight our keyframes f9 them easy e and then we are going to make sure that our motion blur is also turned on and then you can just adjust these keyframes to your liking so i'm not liking the way that this rotation here is looking so we're just going to delete that and we're going to make sure we are on one rotation for the keyframe here so that it ends like that and then we're just going to bring the rotation just a little bit more out so it kind of pops up like that looks a lot more better like that i'm not going to lie to you guys and then what we can do is just adjust the position so it goes up a little bit more on that part perfect so it kind of pops up and then down i like the way that that is looking clean and then for all of these keyframes we're just going to highlight them and go to speed graph and i'm just going to do the same with this sort of graph here we're just going to make it look slightly different faster maybe the end piece a little bit more slower Let's see i'd say something like this this looks like a nice graph and then we can watch that back clean that's exactly what we're looking for so then now when we toggle our body which is right here we can see the head and the body come into frame like this so now when we watch our effect back you can see that we got the stack up animation happening right here the body comes in and then the head dives in after okay which looks sick now the way to make this look a lot better is we are going to add an adjustment layer as soon as the head lands in right here so we are just going to close all of our keyframes here and we're going to click new and we are going to go to adjustment layer and we're just going to go to effects and presets user presets because it is my official pack which is the ultimate shake pack now like i said at the start of the video if you guys do not have this pack feel free to download it today it's very clean and these shakes are absolutely amazing so we could just add let's just say a bouncy shake here as soon as the head lands in so i can show you what sort of effect we're going to get with this and you can just mess around with the keyframes position your shake and where you want it to be for me i'd say around here but we can adjust it if we don't like the way it's looking so we got a nice bouncy shake there i think that looks so sick it works well with this freeze frame effect 
and we can actually try another effect and we're just going to move in the adjustment layer so that now when the head comes in the shake happens so we got this bouncy y axis shake which looks sick as well we got the clean glow shake effect that you see a lot in music videos as well this one's very clean we got the disconnected shake here which is like a black and white with a glow shake this looks sick as well there's actually so many presets within this pack that you can choose from for your shakes so feel free to experiment and get the look that you want me in terms of the shake that i'm going to use for this effect today we're going to stick with the bouncy shake but like i said guys feel free to experiment with these shakes and see what is best for your effect so we're just going to drag these keyframes right here so that when we do land in We've got the shake happening. So we're just going to move it around here. So let's just watch that back. So I'd say something like that. And we can just drag this adjustment layer back to around there. And let's watch this back. Now that is looking so cold. I love the way that these shakes complement your freeze frame effects, your rotoscope effects. They really do. These shakes are so important to me. So that's why I had to make this pack for you guys. So feel free to download them today. Now guys, that is the end of today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this effect. These effects are used a lot in music videos, but you can add your own twist to it, add your own source, just like I did with my shakes. And you can experiment with this effect a lot. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the bell notification. And if you enjoyed today's video, smash the like button. Thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Love.